Welcome back to the channel. We're here in uh, the far western region of uh, Indiana out near the Illinois border in the small town of Williamsport. Uh, we are here to try to capture an image of the tallest waterfall in the state of Indiana, uh, Williamsport Falls. It's a balmy uh, nine degrees this morning uh, as the sun's coming up here in front of me. Uh, I'm gonna hike down here to the waterfall and then we're gonna take capture a couple images and I plan on sharing uh, my viewpoint or my opinions on my uh, Winston 2.0 three-legged thing tripod so stay tuned Well, quite, it was quite the height getting down here. A lot uh, more difficult than normal with all the ice that was on the trail. But I managed to get down here. Um, hopefully you can see there's a little bit of color here behind me as the sun's coming up. Through the trees, not the, the best, but still, you know, time of year. You know, here we are. You can see here behind me the fall itself. You can see the gigantic ice build up here at the base. Um, don't normally see that, but it's been pretty cold this winter, so a little treat that we don't normally get. And normally it falls all the way down to the dirt and forms the creek that you see that runs along here. Yeah, so taking a picture of this, you know, is really just like any other waterfall. You know, again, F11, ISO 100. Right now we're four tenths of a second, and you can see here. If you look in the back of my screen, we'll see if I can. Hands are so cold with this temperature, it's hard to feel anything, but there we'll. Two second delay on the timer. As you can see. There, I can't even feel touching that. There you go. Definitely don't want to erase, but gives you an idea what we're capturing this morning. Now, winter conditions here are always interesting. You can have 50 degree days and you can have sub-zero days. You know, lately we've had a lot of very cold days. You know, and we even last week had a little bit of rain. Of course, this morning it was snowing a little bit. Not really unusual to have that. <laughs> but, you know, it's just typical Indiana weather. You know, so how do you, you know, how do you hike? Or how do you get to Williamsport, I should say. It's uh, directly west on Interstate 70 to exit 15. You go north to Attica, then you just keep following 41 to 28, and then 28 will take you over to Williamsport. And the falls really aren't too far outside of the middle of town. Again, it's quite a quite a hike, though, to get down here. I mean, as you can see, you try to hike along the creek, which is most of the time you can. You know, it's, it's, it's available to do that, but today, because we've had some rain and snow and everything else, the water's so high you can't. So you got to come up, basically from that viewing platform, you got to come down that steep cliff to get here. I'm not the worst thing in the world, but definitely, you know, it makes for an adventure, <laughs> let's say. So, anyway, uh, give me a couple seconds here. I'm going to take a couple more images, and then we're going to talk a little bit about my friend here. You know, Mr. Winston, made by Three-Legged Thing. You know, um, I've had him now for well over a year. You know, so I'll give you a couple of my opinions on this particular model if you're thinking about picking one up. So hold on, I'll be back with you in a minute. I have done, and I've been here in the past, I have been here a few times, because I have taken five or six shot panels of this whole area to capture it in, and you know, I'll post one of, maybe a, an older one from, I think last year was here, about the same time, I'll post one of those here at the end, so you can see what it looks like, I'm not going to try to do that today, because quite frankly it's so cold, I can't feel my fingers and everything, to line everything up and do it all, 
correctly, but I have done that in the past. Now also, taken, as you can see here, now vertical, I've done a little bit of everything. I've been here probably, I think, three times over the years. I find this to be a very interesting spot. Not too many places like this in Indiana. Now, remember, whenever you're doing this stuff, especially when you're shooting, you know, at a very slow shutter speed, put your camera on a delay. I have mine set on a two-second delay. Um, I rec highly recommend you do that. It gives a chance for everything to settle down so you don't get any blur in your image. Very important. All right, so let's talk about Winston. All right, let's talk about good old Winston. I purchased Winston at the recommendation of another great YouTube photographer, Brandon Vanson. Somebody I've followed for a very long time, you know, and he's been blogging and doing travel photography for uh, over 10 years now. Um, and he has used three-legged thing for a very long time, and he uses Winston. He actually has the first version, not the, the second, which is what this is, all right? But he uses it religiously, you know, and, and, and is very strongly convinced it's a great tripod to have. So when I was thinking about buying a new tripod, I, you know, messaged him and asked him, you know, what would be the best, you know, for my situation, what did he think, <coughs> excuse me, what would be the best? And he recommended, you know, the three-legged thing, Winston, you know, 2.0 version was fine, or the original, whichever I, I, I felt like buying or I could get my hands on. You know, you know my local camera store did have 2.0, uh, that would be Robert's camera down in downtown Indianapolis. So I went ahead and I purchased it. Now, it is everything that Brandon said. It, it, it's a very good, strong, sturdy tripod. I mean, it is, you know, for anything I need to do, it's almost overkill. I mean, it it is a big, strong, heavy, when I say heavy, it, it handles a heavy load with ease. All right, now, is, is it heavy? It weighs about four pounds. All right, with the center column in. You can take the center column out and it'll, it'll drop the weight some. You know, it, it is truly, you know, a good tripod. Now, is it the world's best? Probably not, but it is, excuse me, there while I move some branches out of the way. All right, it is definitely a good tripod for a landscape photographer who, you know, wants to do, you know, some stuff locally. You know, doesn't you know? It wants to use it on a hike here and there. It's not over, you know, overly heavy. It's easily transportable and it's easily convertible. And we'll show you some of that here. I'm gonna put my camera down, find a good spot to put it down, and then we'll talk about that. But all right, so you know, when you're looking at this, I mean, you can easily move the legs. All you do is pull this out. All right. This whole base here, you can literally take the whole thing apart. All right, the leg will come off. You can get it really low. You can take the center column out. You don't need to have the center column in. Sometimes I use it. Sometimes I don't. Today, I just happened to have it in, but I wanted to have it in for this discussion. But you can take it out. All right, but it does give it a tremendous amount of height, which works pretty well when you're trying to do some astral photography or things like that. All right, now. What do I like most about it? How sturdy it is. I mean, it's definitely something that is going to not waver in the wind. It's not going to you know, waver with the weight of a big lens on it at this point. It, it, anything I use is just not going to cause it any trouble. All right, that is by far the best thing about it. The ball head that comes with it, fine. No issues with it whatsoever. It works great. You know, the only things I will say from a negative standpoint. Seems like every time I want to adjust 
one of these things, if I'm not holding it just right, it'll cause the leg to start to come loose. Don't particularly care for that. All right, same thing with the ball head. If I don't have this set just right, when I try to turn it, sometimes it'll unscrew this top piece here. All right, sometimes, not always, but it will do it. It gets to be a little bit of an irritant, especially if you're, you know, in the middle of trying to capture something quickly. It can be an irritant. The other issue I have with it, and again, it, it's just a, a personal thing is, I have one set of legs. I'm not sure which one of the three it is. All right, when you loosen it, when you loosen both up and you try to push it back together, it sticks and you got to really push really hard. But it's only on one out of three. And I've messed with it, you know, to try to adjust it or find out if I've got something that's sticking and I can't seem to get it to work any smoother, you know, no matter what I seem to do to it. The only other negative, really, to Winston, if you like to hike a lot, all right, is going to be its size once it's fully flat. It's a little bit on the long side, all right? And by the way, if you notice, just have one of those legs just doing that start to come loose, all right? First, this morning, all three legs want to go back together nice and easy. Yeah, figure. But if you look at this, I mean, this thing's about two feet long or so when it's fully collapsed. That just makes it pretty big in your backpack. Makes it a little bit difficult, you know, to seat it in and every once in a while if you're moving really hard it'll bounce around and try to hit you in the back of the head. That's not fun. But beyond that, this is a good, sturdy tripod that doesn't weigh a ton, doesn't cost a fortune. I think this is uh, 400, somewhere between four and five hundred dollars. I can't remember the exact number. Alright, but it, it it is more than sturdy enough. It's yeah definitely able to handle the load and it's definitely something where you can take and you can adjust it to, to do the different things you want. You can get it down almost to the ground without having to flip your camera upside down. Now if you want to do that you can also do that but you don't have to with this particular tripod. You can take the center column out, put your ball head back on top, you can lay these things out as flat as they go or you can even take them off. All right? You can take the legs, all the legs off if you choose to because they all do unscrew. You know and you can Get it down pretty low if that's what you're after. You know, it's pretty versatile. You know, it, it's pretty durable. Again, I've had it and I use it religiously. I've had it all over, all over the country with me. You know, I use it, uh, you know, just for just about everything. So, if you're looking for a good tripod that's not going to break the bank, you know, it's going to come in, do come in under $500. You know, with something that doesn't weigh too much. You know, but will work for you. Go with Winston 2.0. Brandon Vanson highly recommended it. Uh, again, I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. You know, and uh, pick one up and enjoy it. It definitely is a fantastic tripod. Right. So with that, I'm going to end the video here. Just remind you to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. You know, thanks again for coming and joining the channel or at least watching the video greatly appreciated you know remember to always and I say this at the close of every video you know just get up get outside and enjoy life life's way too short you know, enjoy great mornings like this uh, an interesting location that not a lot of people come to you know to you know, just enjoy the outside appreciate your time thanks for coming along so we'll see you again. Thanks very much.